What's up guys, Cody with Thompson Family Homestead. Working on the old bull for it again today. Uh, after I put the lowering springs on, the uh, caster camber got all jacked up and the tires were cambered in negative real bad. So I'm gonna pull these uh, caster camber bushings out and try to get it leveled out. Try to get the tires straight up and down again instead of leaning in. So hope this video helps some of you guys. I couldn't find any on it on YouTube. I found a lot of videos on how to do the caster camber bushings on four wheel drives, but not two wheel drive bull nose. It's a little different. Everything's kind of basically flipped upside down. But anyways, hope this video helps some of you guys out. Give me a like, subscribe to the channel. I'm going to keep trying to get these videos coming and uh, we'll get to it. All right. I got the cotter key out, nut off. And then I got the alignment bushing out. That is going to press up inside there. And then as you can see, it's oblong. So whichever way you wanna cast your camber out, you turn it. Mine was sitting in there like this, which gives me all the camber to the inside. And I am gonna reinstall it like this to give me caster camber to the outside, <clears throat> excuse me, camber to the outside because I got the three inch lowering springs on mine, which made all my tires camber in. So I did it on the other side. It worked perfect. Um, I still need to take it to the alignment shop and shop and get them to do it, you know, perfect. But this is good enough to ride around, take it to some car shows or whatever. Um, if it's not a daily driver, you probably get away with it for a while without having to take it to the alignment shop. But if you're gonna try to daily it, I definitely suggest taking it to an alignment shop and letting them install the exact degree caster camber bushing in there that it needs and uh, get it done right. But just wanted to show you guys what it looks like out. They're pretty cheap. Um, it was kind of a pain getting it out of there because it was frozen in there up in here, but what I did is just, uh, I tried wrenches and, you know, uh, crescent wrenches, pipe wrenches, trying to just get it turned, break it loose, but it wouldn't. So I just put the air chisel on one of those little, uh, uh knobs, notches right there, whatever you want to call them, and just hit it with the air chisel and it spun it and then just, uh, put the air chisel on top of this lip and popped it right out. So anyways, let me pop this back in and, uh, Show you guys what it looks like. Hopefully my tire will be straight up and down. All right, guys, I want to give you a, a quick uh, shot of how this caster camber bushing works. I uh, was installing it and uh, thought this was a perfect way to show you guys for those that don't understand how they work. But So as I turn this, you can kind of see how it will adjust the spindle on this uh, I-beam and give you your toe in, toe out, or excuse me, caster camber. Let me see if I can get it on. Well, it's a little, it's hard to get it on camera. Such a minute, minute movement. You can kind of see a little bit as I turn it, the uh this will shift from left to right but anyways it's hard to get on camera because it's such a tiny movement but as you turn this nut down here really you're supposed to put it on here but it's so loose right now this nut's turning it but as you turn that there you go you can kind of see it right there It moves that ball joint around in that spindle and gives you the caster camber you're looking for. Not a professional would have an alignment machine and he'd do this very slightly and get it, you know, towed in, but we're just trying to do it here in the garage. Anyways, hope you guys can see that. But yeah, we'll, uh, Tighten that up, 
put the cotter key through there, throw the wheel back on and slam her down on the ground and see if we got her close. All right, guys, it's a success. Tire is way better than before. Before it was towed in, probably a, excuse me, I keep saying towed in, cambered in about an inch and a half. I mean, it was very noticeable. After you drop your truck, you will completely see what I'm talking about. But just flipping that bushing around 180, it's got it. Pretty daggum straight. I mean, with no alignment machine or anything, it looks good. And then once I uh, start driving around, it might settle a little bit, but honestly, I might have, it might even be cambered out now instead of cambered in. So once I drive around, get them springs settled back down, should be dead on. But got this side done too. The truck's nice and drivable again, but it's pretty simple. After you guys put them three inch lowering springs in, you might be able to just flip your stock, cast your camera bushings 180 and uh, get away without having to go to the alignment shop. Depending on, you know, if I drove this truck every day, if it was my daily driver, I'd definitely take it to the alignment shop, but it's just a hot rod and for fun. So this will definitely get me by. Plus these tires need to be replaced anyway. So maybe when I put new tires on it, I'll get a real alignment. Anyways, hope this video helped you guys. Thanks for checking it out. Catch you on the next one.